good morning everybody i hope we're doing okay this morning i am here again ready to do another goblin need to think about what kind of goblin <laughs> but my apologies for the late start i had some tet the cook difficulties but i think it's all good now Good morning, Roll. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I need to think about what goblin I want to make. So we have done quite a few goblins already. Um, good morning, Penguin Queen. How are you doing? Doing okay. How am I? I am good. I am much better now that my my computer is working it's um it's a weird technical difficulty really it's actually not the computer it's my screen my screen just sometimes decides it's too cold i don't want to wake up <laughs> so you know that's a thing but i just have to kind of badger it a little bit and then it turns on but um I'm looking into a better fix. Currently, I don't have one, apart from getting up really early. And it's so cold right now. <laughs> it's minus three. It's minus three right now. It's so cold. Is that how it feels? Yeah. It's just, I, I kind of get it. I kind of get It's hard to get out of bed right now. Definitely too hard to get out of bed right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I have done a rogue goblin and a necromancer, a king, a chef, a barbarian and a court jester. I feel like I haven't done like a knight. I feel like a knight goblin could be something. But I'm wondering if there's like a more obvious goblin that I'm missing. It snowed a little this morning. Nothing stayed on the ground but the roofs are wet. Oh, I kind of like that because it's you get the prettiness of snow but without the inconvenience of ice like slipping everybody up. <laughs> so let me let me look. Did I forget any of my goblins? Let's see. No, there's six of them. So what do we want to do with this one? We can do Night Goblin. Or maybe a different kind of wizard. I kind of like Night Goblin. I might try and put a big old helmet on. So that like... Maybe its face is covered and its ears are poking out. <laughs> Maybe something like that. Yeah. Just also having a look at all my finished works as they go by being like, hmm, hmm, inspirations. <laughs> Oh, but I hope everybody else is doing okay and keeping warm, despite everything, despite the cold. What is your favourite way of keeping warm? Like, as I'm, as I'm still talking, let's go bloop. What is your favourite way of keeping warm? Because I just like piling on the jumpers. I think... I think that's probably my thing. That and just making like hot chocolate. Ah, oh, hot chocolate is so tasty. I think I think it's just a really nice way of doing it. Hot chocolate, yes. It's just so tasty. <laughs> Your Udi, oh my gosh. Recently discovered Thermal Leggings. Thermal Leggings, also good shout. 
I had some on yesterday. I like completely doubled up on my leggings. That was fun. My legs were very toasty. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just, let's just draw. Why not? I think a knight. That's what I'm going with. A knight goblin. Someday I might own an electric blanket with a setting just for feet. <laughs> You can just wrap the blanket around your feet like you can have a normal blanket around the rest of you and then you could just wrap the blanket around your feet and then I feel like that would solve that would that would be what you you need no maybe okay so I'm gonna just draw like this big bucket so I want it I'm gonna add some curves maybe I just think it'd be funny if there's like a bit sticking out at the bottom like the helmet just really doesn't fit I think that's I want it to look kind of funny because I just think goblins are quite funny like got a dent in it and there where, where would the eyes be it's like yeah like I found someone else's helmet <laughs> like it doesn't belong to them okay so let me let me try and line up where the eyes would be. Like, where would this need to be? Good morning, Exile. How are you doing? So if, if I want, like, the helmet to be, like, here, like, the there's, like, a cross and the eyes are kind of in this bit. Oh, yes, welcome on in. It is very new as of yesterday. still need to iron out some things but I am I am happy enough I am happy enough I hope things are well with you and if it's cold where you are you're staying warm okay so I think I want like like a Templar helmet I think is what's in my head It's sleeting, oof. Snow is nice, sleet is less nice. Sleet is less likely to settle though, which depending on who you are is a good or a bad thing. I don't mind snow settling if it disappears very quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me outline this, merge it together. Okay, so I want, I need the helmet to basically fit around that. So let me, let's just redraw it. Let's just redraw it. make a goblin in a very ill-fitting helmet. Kind of like the goal. 
I mean, I guess the face doesn't have to line up because otherwise it would be well fitted. But let's see. Let's see what I come up with. And then I'll have to find a way of getting the goblin ears in to hammer home that it's a goblin. slightly higher that means it can't see that's quite funny just hoping it doesn't fall melt then refreeze leaving that scary like yeah exactly you don't want it to be like a um like a black ice sort of scenario that could be quite dangerous Helmet like open in some way so that the ear can be seen. Yes, they do open. It's just gonna be a bit of a working stuff out at the moment for this. to be a little bit like a bucket on its head. Some crudely punched holes for the ears. That could definitely work. Or maybe it's like the entire back of the helmet is missing. Just thinking of like, because it's if it's metal, it could be harder to punch some holes in. So maybe it's just like a band at the top, the front of the helmet, and then the rest is just gone. <laughs> Which could be interesting. Okay. Let's try that. Just stole the faceplate, basically. I want it to look a bit, a bit silly. Kind of like if we do that. This part that is attached. I think I just want to fix my angle a bit and then maybe give it a point. have a curve. Nah, oh nah. I don't think it needs a curve. That's kind of working for me actually. If I merge these together, feeling a little too tight, maybe right. that. 
think that's looking a little better. It's a good thing this goblin doesn't have a nose. <laughs> wavy line up here I think you can go right from critical role to your drawing art during a show oh cool that's nice what was uh I guess in the least spoilery way possible for people in chat what was uh how was critical role Add some zigzags. Maybe make it so that it's the same on both sides. Expand the appearance. some weldy points this episode the bells hell became those annoying tourists at the casino I want to say oh no but I am I'm not super familiar with any critical role really <laughs> It's uh, one of those shows that I definitely appreciate existing, but it's a bit. I just, I just cannot keep up. <laughs> the time zone difference just makes it very difficult, and I'm like, I can't. I like sleep too much. Okay, I can definitely pop an ear on now. Pretty par for the course. Ah, oh, cool. I assume a good episode then. Mostly just started listening to the streams because it feels the silence at work. That's fair. It makes sense. They've got pretty, pretty super cool production values and stuff. And it, it helps, I think, that everybody's a, a, a voice actor. At least they were back in the day. I don't know if that's still the case. Okay. I'm gonna just turn that off for the time being. Duplicate this ear. Pop it round the other side. Oh, yep. We don't. We're not using that anymore. Kind of want to add like a strap here so that it's being held on in a very weird way, weird goblin-y way. to catch up with Critical Role but failed too much but you can't concentrate on your English that much yet. That's fair as well. Role's English is very good. I believe I believe your French role? 
Is that is that true? Please correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> French, yes. Top notch English. Considering how much I fumble over my words, <laughs> I have no excuse. Okay. I like how st stupid this is already looking. <laughs> Might. I might change the shape up again a little bit, but just have like a band on somewhere. Or maybe, yeah, maybe I'll get rid of this top part. Maybe it'll just be like the face. Let me see. I'm going to duplicate it in case I change my mind. Good morning, Stevie and Major. How are you doing? We do have a new look been threatening it for a very long time, but I've finally gotten around to actually implementing it. Okay. Let's change up this helmet a bit. Let's get rid of this. What if, like, what Exile was saying, it's just the face plate without the top bit. So maybe, maybe we just have it like here and then add in a few points. going stream is going well thank you very much thank you for the hydrate i'm going to have zip tea i invite anybody else to have a little hydrate along with me French, but there's always the meme hearing the hatred of foreigners. Nah, I don't, I'm sure that's not true. I mean, I'm not French, who knows? <laughs> but I always feel like there's more of an appreciation of attempting to learn a language when you go abroad rather than just assuming, assuming English. That is an incredible assumption on my part, but. I know, I know I'd be grateful, you know, just the attempt to communicate. I think it's important to try and pick up some key phrases. At least places that you're going to travel to. Absolutely not. Happy to hear people try. It's hard to speak French. We know because it's even hard for us. <laughs> Fair. I... I... I couldn't... It's not, it's not a language that I'm 
I'm, I'm familiar enough with. Which you'd think, after doing it in school, that I might be, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not very good at languages. That's just, uh, definitely something that I, I can attempt. Those of you who have heard me try to pronounce many usernames <laughs> will be unsurprised by that fact. But I always give it a go. in. French has a lot of weird rules and exceptions. It's a pretty language for sure, but also kind of stupid. I feel like that applies to English as well, though. <laughs> I look at this, this language and I am just kind of glad that it was, it's the, it's, it was the one I was raised in, because I'm like, holy crap, trying to learn this later just seems <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to anything we come up with rules and then immediately break them sounds like most languages could be, I, I know very little about languages to to say for sure. Definitely, definitely sounds like English to me. It is a bit too big. Let me just scale them all down. Let's do it together. There we go. I before E, except after C, and also except in the cases that we decided that we didn't like it. <laughs> that's how that's how all this how this English grammar and spelling is. Off to work, look forward to seeing final goblin friend. Thank you, Penguin Queen. Have a great day at work. Thank you for coming by again. I always appreciate it. I want to add some like flares to this to this cross, I think. So I might just try and make. Oh wait, not like that. I might just make a shape and then see how it looks if I bang it at the end. The other thing with languages as well is that everyone's going to be a beginner at some point. So, you know, you've got to got to give people time to learn. Like with any skill, I think it's it's very discouraging to um kind of write someone off right at the beginning of their their journey. I think a lot of it's the same with art I would say like a lot of people can be a bit discouraging at the beginning or people even just of themselves or really critical being like I can't draw but it just it just takes time I think that could be nice like some love hearts around there It looks a bit like bones. <laughs> but that might be perfect for a goblin. 
practice makes perfect, exactly. Exactly. bow, maybe. Boop. Like it's all tied on there. so silly. But I think it's coming together. I think I like the madness of this weird kind of Mad Max looking goblin. <laughs> I'm gonna open up the colour palette. also nice that you guys can see my layer panels now as well so I feel like I have less explaining to do when my mouse just randomly goes off to the side of the screen. Exile. Hopefully you can hear us. Welcome back. I did like the second, uh, the second purple. I haven't saved this one. Let's give it a save. I'm liking where this is at. We'll need to add some stuff to the to the head. <gasps> Hello, T. Welcome on in. Thank you for catching a stream. It is a new model. As of yesterday. Very, 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 very new. Gosh, learning Arabic, that's so cool. That sounds like, that sounds very tricky to me. Yeah, I, I'm very, I'm very happy with my model. I've got a few new buttons. There's still a few things that I need to do to fix it up. But I like, I like having my buttons. Whenever we're just, you know, taking a break from the art to draw, I can go, blup come up here and I can I can talk with people a little bit closer up <laughs> my laugh buttons a bit broken but apart from that I think it's okay and then I can go shoom, back down again love the pokey fingers so do I. I like my new like arm animations I feel like I'm missing the arms open I don't have that so I need to do that Need to fix my laugh. New things. But, you know, I'll, I feel like those are things I can do gradually. 
Okay, what is the time? I think it is time for my first break because I am out of tea and I need to go get some more. So if you need a drink or a stretch um, or anything else to take care of yourself, now is the time. Uh, I'll be back in 10 minutes time to finish up this little goblin friend. So I will see you all in 10 minutes.
Hello, I'm back. I hope everybody else had a good break. I have some more tea. Oh my gosh. Roll, you've only been speaking English for three years. That's incredible. Or been confident enough to make conversational work. Like, that's, that's really cool. Your English is very, very good. Okay, I am coming back to this goblin friend. And what do I want to do? I need to add some hexagons. I need to add some hexagons. Because they're on every single goblin so far, so now I now I need to add them to everyone. They kind of look like weird turtle markings to me, which I'm not sure why my goblins have got a little bit in common with turtles, but there you go. They do now. I think I'm almost done with my goblins as well. Like, I like the set so far. I think I just want to add maybe like an artificer goblin. I think that's always really fun. And the artist said, it's canon. Exactly. Hey, if orcs can be mushrooms, <laughs> goblins can be turtles. Gotta love, gotta love that 40k lore. Anything can happen. Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna want to make this part of a helmet really shiny, I think. I might I might also thinking about some earrings again. I like putting earrings on the goblins. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. I keep saying no. I don't want to do that. Okay, we'll come away from the line so Illustrator doesn't think that I want to add to it. Oh, it's flipped my line. Grumble, grumble. Flip back. Flip back, I say. Right. There we go. Fixed it. Owlins. Or a hobo goblin. <laughs> Single hobo goblin dad to round off the group of goblins. That could be fun. do have a very in it's, it's kind of become some sort of goblin court unintentionally so i'm going to open the others to show them off in case you haven't seen there'll be a little bit of a flash every time i open because that's just what illustrator does so just as a warning so we've got chef chef goblin um and where are the others where are the others got the one from yesterday barbarian goblin the goblin fool the goblin king which you know is very regal the only one to have a jawline 
the goblin necromancer. And rogue. I think that's them all. I don't think there's any other goblins who have been neglected. No, that's all of them. Love the whisk earrings on the ship. Yeah, that was a suggestion from chat. It was very cool. This one had so many chat suggestions. I wasn't going to do a chef. <laughs> this, was, this was a very interactive chat day, Chef Goblin. And, and yeah, yesterday I liked the little axes and the eyes. I really like how the hat turned out. I know the pattern isn't probably the direction it should be going, but it looks, it looks, that's good enough. And then the king. Yes, that was it. Exile, you suggested the um, heterochromia. So we've got that. We've got that in our king, our slightly David Bowie inspired king. <laughs> And then a necromancer with their, their goth makeup and their embarrassed Sundari skull. And then the rogue. The rogue was the first one. So there's quite simple details, but we've got like the holes in the hood where the ears are coming out. So I feel like I feel like we've got a really nice set. I am happy with how this has turned out. Put some shade on here. So we'll just drag that under the face. Yeah, I like taking chat suggestions. It's kind of like I like hearing them. If I've got something in my head already, then I'll sometimes I. I don't use them if it's if it's a bit too contradictory, but I like to. I like to use them when I can. Which I think is more often than not. It's kind of why I like doing a lot of art on stream, because I think a lot of people have good ideas. the bit that's dragged close to the face because that's where this this bit is to imagine the speech is just muffled beyond comprehension <laughs> that would be funny and i think pretty accurate given given that if he had a nose it would most definitely be crushed Minus seven here. How cold is it there? Oh my gosh, it's not quite minus seven, but it is very cold. It's minus three here. I hope you're staying warm. That sounds intense. You're at minus one. All of these minus temperatures. It's just so cold. I'm going to draw some thick lines that are going to just be going across here and then I'm going to use a clipping mask to um, cut them off, hopefully in the right place. And then I'll do the same with some light parts. So. 
grab this shape and I'm going to make a clipping mask. I'm going to pop all the paths in there. Take them down. I want that underneath the crisscross. So the next thing to do is some light passes. Wearing blankets like a robe around the house. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. I've been doing that too. It's it's a it's a good way to keep warm. It feels pretty cool. Just having blankets draped around you. Let's turn this down. Three here right now. Oh my gosh, you're the warmest. <laughs> Enjoy the luxury. That is uh that is that is three degrees. <laughs> Oh, I need to update my commands on my about section, but if you'd like to give Mimitbot some food, you can use exclamation point treat. That is the one that works. Nom, 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 nom. In the United States, Glad you use Celsius. I'm I'm also glad. <laughs> Though we've done a few conversions. People come again being like, it's 20F, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. But that sounds cold from what I know. And then I look it up and it's ridiculously cold. Shiny helmet. Well, part of a helmet. So I'm going to need to put the line on top so that we don't have we have a nice clean edge. Have enough friends overseas. It's more convenient. All I know is that zero is. 32F. You know what? That's more than I knew. <laughs> so maybe I'll I'll try and keep that in my brain now. 32 is zero. I feel like reading that, I feel like I knew that at one point, if you know what I mean. Like at one point I learnt that and it's been lost to time. I might add like a blur to the the metal sheen. I think that will um that'll help. So I'm gonna do a weird thing. I'm gonna just put a shape over here. And the reason for that is because Illustrator for some reason doesn't have um for some reason it doesn't have a directional blur. So you have to fake it with a radial blur. So I do that by putting a shape over here and then the Radial blur is a bit wider. It's odd, but it kind of works. Okay, that's interesting. I want to move this down here. I do quite like the way the blur looks. Maybe I just need a Gaussian blur. A Gaussian blur. It's one of those words where you you don't really know how to pronounce it because you never hear it said. <laughs> or at least that's how it was for me. I'll come in again because I know that's going to be very small for you all. Uh, I want to put it on this group. I 
don't tend to use like a lot of blurs, but it might kind of just give it the gradient look. Eh, I don't know. Nah, I just think it's too different from anything else I do. This always happens, I'm like, maybe I should use a blur, and then I'm like, I don't like it. But I think this is, this would be okay. comes together usually. Oh, I am sorry everybody, I just have to be right back quickly. I'll see you in a second. I'm back again. Sorry about that. I was just being summoned by my partner. <laughs> just needed to ask a quick question. I'm now back. Definitely don't need another 10 minute break. also wondering if I should just put a gradient on this as well or instead of let me try let me try both so let's get this gradient out First of all, I need those the other way around. Second of all, I actually do like that gradient. Do you think that's going to help a lot? And yeah, I think as well as. Not instead of. it needs to be darker. I think I need that darker purple. I think it would look nice if it's blending in. Why are you not blending in? What's happening here? Ah, I see. You're not that colour, that's why.
Yeah, I'm liking that better. I think that's looking a bit more metallic. Turns out all I needed was an actual gradient. And I think that works small as well, yeah. Perfect. light to this part as well. with the yellow. Maybe I want a gradient on the yellow as well. I think I might. Gradients everywhere. Add that. And instead, I want this to be yellow. Oh, no. That's not yellow. There we go. opposite way round. Yeah! Nice and shiny, thank you very much. It may only be part of a helmet, but this goblin clearly keeps it, keeps it shiny and in good nick. <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's any other finishing touches that I want to add. It's another shorter stream today, which I apologise, I had some technical difficulties at the start. But then Sunday, I'm hoping for a bit of a longer stream. Sunday is also going to be my last stream of the year i think i'm gonna take a break after that and then come back in january i might do another one to see how i feel over the christmas break but i think it's more likely that i won't so i think it will be my last of the year So shiny, yeah. The shiniest of all the goblins. Well, that's possibly true. 
the shiniest of all the goblins. I mean, the king's got a lot going on in terms of shininess. They've got all of this. So the one thing I guess when I put helmets and have eyes closed is I can't do as much craziness with the eyes, like how all these have a lot of things going on. But I guess make up for it with this. This Templar mask. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's not, you know, a full on helm. Okay, I think it's I think it's time to copy the backing. Paste it in. Then I can transform it into place. So let's give it the rotate to match the others. Shrink it down a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. So that the ears are in place. Then I want to grab most of my lines. Just want to maybe shrink those lines down a, a teeny tiny bit. Those did get Trunk, that's fine. I think we're good, nothing standing out there. Might just add a gradient on these as well. Get the blue involved dark blue. enough enough to add some depth okay I think I think this looks pretty much there to me the king is the only one shiny yet yes as it should be <laughs> no one should outshine the king but yeah, I like how this has turned out. I like the gradient helping helping that shine a little bit. I think that's worked. I'm gonna have a quick swig of tea. Nom nom nom. Okie dokie then. I think I'm going to call this here. It's been a lovely stream. Thank you everyone for joining. I'm going to have a check to see if there's anyone I can raid. Simon is doing some art this morning. Let's go see Simon. I like raiding Simon. Raid. Simon. Simon is a Australian artist who does incredibly cute things. Highly recommend sticking around for the raid if you can. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you have the emote unlocked or you are a sub, 
please use this raid message here. Or, if not, I have the follower friendly message coming up with the hearts. There we go. But yes, thank you. Thank you, Untainted T, the 11th Exile. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm next streaming on Sunday. Sunday, the 18th of December, 10 a.m. GMT time. Uh, and like I said a few minutes ago, it will probably be the last one of the year. So I hope everyone can join. We'll see what we can do. We'll try, I'll try and think of something special to do. It's like a nice send-off to 2022. Let's go see what Simon is doing. Ah, thank you for joining, and I will see you all next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye.